and as well provide training for its staff. What we attempted to do here was creating a system that allowed people to have access to vision care year-round, even when there were no NGOs present. And in this, the National Eye Health Program and the ministry really took the leadership in turning that vision into a reality. And it started first with a vision center in Farafini. And we set up the equipment and we taught the, uh, the Optex and the Soma and all the, uh, uh, the workers in the hospital exactly how to perform an eye exam and also how to sell people a pair of glasses at a price Gambians can afford. This is an incredibly exciting program. Not just because it's America doing something great, but it's how. It's the sustainability model. It's one site, you all, bringing in the equipment, training Gambians to provide health care for Gambians. That this is not a project that will depend on one site forever, but that this is a project that will depend on Gambians continuing this. The significance of this project can be overemphasized given the collaboration of both organizations and stakeholders in its implementation. The Gambia has achieved a lot in terms of eye care in Africa region as demonstrated in other areas. This as highlighted by partners will provide quality eye examination and maintenance to Gambians and managed by Gambians. Well, this partnership uh, formed there were four main objectives. Those were to create awareness, provide access, and make it affordable and sustainable. So in a country of about over two million people, the team knew they had to launch an awareness campaign to communicate the message about eye care services and the eye units could provide, what the eye units could provide. One site, the Ministry of Health and the National Eye Health Plan, created a marketing campaign using billboards, radios, posters, pamphlets, traditional communicators, thanks for the seniors recommendation. The launching of this fully equipped laboratory came as a result of the successful implementation of the pilot project at the AFPRC General Hospital in Farafeni. This, as the Minister of Health dilated, will enable the provision of visionary eyeglasses across the region and as well help in meeting Vision 2020. The vision of providing comprehensive eye health services and ensuring that these services are accept, accessible available and affordable, and are at the doorsteps of all Gambians, has gathered significant momentum over recent years. I help care in the Gambia, under the visionary leadership of His Excellency, Chief Professor Dr. Al-Hadi Ayah Ejijijami, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, has grown to be one of the best in the sub-region. The ceremony also witnessed the handing over of a vehicle by the CZ Regional Eye Care Center to the Minister of Health and Social Welfare. Having the facility in place is one thing, but its sustainability is also deemed essential. With proper management and care of this unit, the authorities were confident that in few years' time, the optical eye care unit will herald significant changes when it comes to eye care in the country and the region at large. Uminjai. GRTS. The President's Wadna Farm has produced a harvest of over 115 bags of onions. Bohibite reports the produce from the same farm last year was 91 bags. In Gambian household, there are increasing efforts to increase the production of the widely consumed vegetable. This has been proven with the recent harvest of 73 beds of onions at the President Wadna Farm in Banjul. After successfully harvesting 91 bags of onions last year, the farm manager is happy to register another year of progress on his production chain line with over 115 bags. Yeah, last year we got 91 bags. And this year, I thanks, thanks to the Almighty, we have increased, it has increased to almost 115 bucks. And still now, it's not finished. My boys, they are loading more. Proceeds from farm produce often go a long way in providing help to a number of the president intervention areas. This particular harvesting is expected to serve similar purposes. This harvested onions, 
that you see behind me is not for sale, it's not for anything. It's just to show out to the Gambians that anything is possible here. And the onions down there, we are going to present it to the president so that he too, what he is saying, can know that it is possible for onions to be grown in this country here. The issue of Gambians venturing into agriculture is deemed essential by the farm manager as he urged Gambians to answer to the president's clarion call to go back to the land, which is part of efforts geared towards increasing the country's food self-sufficiency drive. With an increase in demand for onion and its related products, the farm authorities are of belief that inadequate market supply will be mitigated as the Ramadan inches closer. Rohibite, GRTS. A shed constructed for members of Ocean Bay Food Sellers Association worth over half a million dollars has been handed over to the beneficiaries. Modubajan reports the project was bankrolled by Gambia Tourism Board. To ensure a very effective and outstanding tourism industry, the Gambia Tourism Board hands over a newly built and commissioned fruit set to the Ocean Bay Fruit Sellers Association. Speaking on behalf of the Minister of Tourism and Culture, Fatou Mas Jobnjai, the GT Board Director General, Benjamin Roberts, emphasized the importance of such a facility, among which he said is its strategic location. After urging the beneficiaries to work in unison among themselves and their stakeholders, the urgency of cleanliness and hygiene for good service delivery was well buttressed by the GT Board Director General. In addition to his emphasis on service delivery, GT Board's Director of Product Development, Investment and Culture, Fatou B.I. Raji, dilated on the need for beneficiaries to keep up with the required standards in relation to attracting both local and tourist buyers of their products. Having this very nice edifice would be uh, useless if it doesn't come with the services. So we are employing the women to uh, keep up the good work, but also improve on their services so that uh, we'll have more people coming um, to, to this um, Cape Point fruit stalls to buy their fruits and vegetables. B.I. Raji further reiterated her institution's drive to enter a tourism sector that will help many Gambians, particularly women. It is um, something that um, you know that when you help one woman, you are helping a whole family. And we thought that um, the tourism uh, should benefit more Gambians. And the only way that we think we can do that is to come and um, help and partner with the um, women who are in, the, in business in tourism to uh, be able to make more uh, business in the tourism sector. And uh, we are praying that um, our, our aims and objectives will be met by um, improving on the, um, the, the, the facilities, but also improving on the, on the services that will be provided by these women. Other speakers, including the president of Ocean Bay Fruit Sellers Association, Fatima Sane Trawale, wasted no time in commending GT Board and the Gambia government, particularly for not only ensuring but also engineering a vibrant tourism sector by means of such interventions. We are very much grateful and we thank the GTB Board for this new building they did for us because long time we are waiting to have this thing. But thanks God we have it now and we thank them very much. We thank, I thank my colleagues, I thank GRTS, I thank everybody who came to witness this occasion. The association's president, who also urged her compatriots to make good use of the fruit set, stated among other things that the construction of such a facility will verily improve the services of fruit sellers. Uh, the statement I just have for my, my guys, for my colleagues, is we have to take a good care of this house because we know that a lot of, lot of money has been spent on this thing. So we have to take it as we own it, as we spend our own money on it. So this is our Gambia. We are Gambians, so this is in our country, so we have to take a good care of it. And I know, and I'm, I'm sure that my women, they will take a good care of this. What over half a million dollars, the fruit set is said to be able to cater for 16 vendors. This new facility, which is built as a replacement for the old one, is in place to facilitate as well as consolidate the tourism sector's smooth operation. Modu Bajan, GRTS News. And with that report, we'll be back with news outside the Gambia. Uh -huh.